This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So this is the new chapter in JavaScript. So far we have seen that there are different types of operators, different types of loops and uh, data types in JavaScript, right? And uh, defense condition, condition operators also we have seen that. Now today onwards we will talk about more about objects, like how to create functions, how to create objects, and what is the need of okay and what is the need of functions in javascript and how to define factory function so today we will talk about factory function but before that we will talk about how to create a simple object in javascript and what do you mean by an object in javascript so object is nothing guys it's just a a physical entity right just let, let's see uh, an employee is an object an employee having multiple properties maybe employee name employee id and then I can create multiple employees. Let's see, the employee name is Tom, employee name is Naveen. So Tom and employee, these are the object of employee, right? So like that, we can create multiple objects and each and every object will have, okay, a unique property about that particular object, like that, right? So how to create an object and how to define an object in JavaScript. So for doing this, let's see, I'll create one uh, file over here Let's see, my file name is that object.js. Okay, now see carefully. First of all, in object, you have to define the variables and the functions you can define. Variables and functions should be defined or you can define, I would say, should be defined in an object. Okay, this is the first thing. And then you have to write the variables and the functions in the form of key colon value pair format key and value pair format you have to define the functions i mean so you have to define the objects so how to create an object let's say i'm going to create one object let's see constant doesn't matter you can use constant or let here doesn't matter we are going to cover only one example and let's see circle circle is an example and in this particular circle is the object you write it like this now this particular object will have certain properties over here like what kind of properties let's see a circle will have a radius radius will be one like this key and value so the key is this and one is the value like this let's see i have written over here and then you have to write separated by colon over here like that let's see not only for radius i can define any kind of property let's see a uh, circle is visible any boolean property also it is true or not like that also i can define right so i have declared one a uh, circle like that okay and then you write one equal to over here so that the error is gone yeah you have to write circle equal to this like that then not only variables i can define in fact i can define another object also so this particular radius it can be numeric it can be string it can be any kind of data because in javascript it doesn't matter right now this radius is a number you mouse over on is visible is visible is a boolean you can define one more object over here let's say i'm going to define location object okay so i simply write location and is equal to something like this and then having two properties x is equal to one comma y colon one so i have these two properties for location as well Right, so these are the different variables as well as inside the object, I can create one more object like this. And in the same object, I have defined key and value pair format for these properties. So these are called the properties of this particular object, circle object. Okay, as I told you that variables and functions can be defined, okay, in an object. So can I create a function? Yes, of course you can create a function. So how to create a function? So let's say as I told you, draw is a function, is a key and the value will be a function that i want to create right a function it will be like this and in this particular function i simply say that okay hey uh let me comma separate it like this and then i simply say console dot log and i want to print something let's see draw like this so this is a function that i have created and this is a complete object if you notice that i have created like this and having multiple properties over here one is uh, okay 
two variables are there, one location object is there, and one draw function is there over here like this. Simple, like this. So this is a, a basic object that guys I have created over here. Right, now, out of this particular object, now, if you, the moment you write circle, okay, the moment you write circle, okay, I simply write circle dot, you can see, I can see all the properties. Draw is a function, is visible, location, radius. I can simply access any kind of property. So let's see if I write console dot log, and inside the bracket, if I write circle dot radius, okay, circle dot radius. So whatever the radius that we have written, let's see, radius is equal to one. So radius will be one, will be printed on the console. Now you run it, a node and uh, objects.js, some instant text error, just a second. Okay, I'll define something like this, location colon, okay, like this. And now you run it again. Let me clear the console. Now you can see radius equal to one. Okay, as I told you, key and value pair format separated by colon over here. So by mistake, I have written equal to. So you have to write location colon like this. And this is okay. another properties that we have defined over here. Now, <coughs> circle dot radius, I can print. Now, if you print console dot log, console dot log, hey, give me circle object completely. It means give me the value. What are the different properties are available in circle now? You know, you notice what exactly we print on the console. You simply say that it's printing C1 circle dot radius, and it's saying this is all these properties are defined in this particular object. That the circle object is having one variable radius equal to one, is visible equal to true, and this is another location object is having two properties x1 and y1, and one draw function is available over here. Okay, so function is a keyword over here to define a function over here like this. Simple, but what is the problem with this approach? This is a problematic situation where right now, let's say I'm just passing only circle one or radius one, first of all, right? So that's the first thing that, okay, what if tomorrow I want to, uh, you know, increase the radius. This particular object is defined only one single radius equal to one. I cannot pass any parameter over here. So this is not parameterized, I would say kind of object. Second thing is that if you want to define one more circle, you have to write the entire logic once again. Same thing you have to write, let's say I want to create one more circle over here. So you have to write, let's say this time circle number one or circle number two with the same property. And now you can change the radius equal to five or three or whatever you want to write. In the same location also, you can change it. But like this, if you have 100 circles, so 100 circle unnecessary objects like that you have to create, right? So this is not the a right way of defining it. And it depends on your use case to use case. When you have multiple objects like that, then how will you do it? No, this is not the right way of doing it. For single object, yes, we can do that. But for multiple objects, multiple circles you want to create, multiple employees you want to create, no, I cannot do it. So how to resolve this problem? To resolve this problem, guys, what we do that we create factory functions. So what I'll do, I'll create another class, I mean, another file that is called factory dot factory functions factory function dot js in this particular factory function what exactly we do that factory function means factory function means guys remember it produces it factory will produce what factory will produce number of objects so it will produce objects of the same type so what we need to do, we just need to define the template of the factory function and we just need to call that particular factory function and then we just need to create multiple objects with, from the same factory function. So factory function it used to produce objects. Now how to write it? As I told you, it's a function. So we will start with function keyword over here. And let's see my function keyword. My function name is create, I want to create a circle. Okay, create a circle. And now here I can give some radius that, okay, hey, this function will take one parameter, a radius parameter. I can pass multiple uh, radius values over here, like one, two, three, four, five, whatever, right? Create a circle like this, simple. 
then what I'll do that I simply say that okay, hey, circle okay is equal to like this. Let's see, I'll create one object over here like this. Whatever the object that you have written, same object. Let's see, I'm writing over here. I simply write constant circle is equal to this. Same thing over here like this. Okay, and then I take this particular property. So let's see, I want to take one property that is the radius property. So whatever the radius that see I'm passing, when I call this particular function, I'll pass radius one. So same radius I can give it over here. So this will be my key, and this will be my okay, whatever the radius that you are passing over here. Let's see, comma, right? And then I don't need let's see location. So let's because location doesn't matter and is visible also. I don't want to use it. And I take this particular draw function. Okay, so having two properties. One is radius and one is a draw function. Here, in fact, you don't need to write a draw also. So JavaScript, okay, in JavaScript, you can minimize the code by removing this particular function keyword from here. Okay, from this particular factory function, you can remove this uh, draw function. So what exactly we're targeting, guys, that we are trying to create an object template over here. And this particular object template, we have one radius and one draw function. So if you simple write, you remove this guy from here. A simple draw function I have written like this. Let's see. Okay, so I'm having one property, one is radius, another property is a draw, and then console.log like this. And once this is done, what exactly this function will return? I simply say return keyword return circle. Okay, so like this, you can simply write it. It means this particular function is returning what this particular function is returning a circle object so this is an object over here now <coughs> how will you call this particular function i call this particular function this is a factory function and i'll pass a radius equal to one so circle you mouse over it saying it's a factory function having all these properties and radius i'm simple passing one okay i'm simple passing one over here now what i'll do i simply store a constant over here like this const let's see c1 is equal to this circle one or i would say let's see okay let's see c1 so i simply write i call this particular function multiple times pass one over here one will be given to this guy like this and then i print console.log now you see i just want to print c1 the moment you print c1 over over here let me clear the console and this is factory function.js it's saying we have radius one one draw function so what i have got i have got one c1 c1 object and then and this is the blueprint of c1 object now from this particular c1 object what do you want c1 dot radius give me the radius the moment you write c1 dot radius it will give you one now i want to call c1 dot a draw function sorry c1 dot a draw function i'll call this draw function so what will happen you simply try it's printing draw over here just because of this console.log like this guys i can create multiple functions okay multiple objects i can create let's see this time i'm creating c2 with the same template circle 2 and then this time i'm passing let's see i'm passing 5 and then c2 dot radius okay so let's see what exactly it's saying it's saying I'm getting five over here for C2, like this. I can call C2.draw also. So like this guys, I can create a factory function and I can call n number of times over here, okay? By passing the different values. In fact, you can minimize this code as well. You can simple write, instead of writing constant circle, you can minimize this and you can simple write like this as well. Simple say, return this, object like this and remove the return from here you can write it like this as well now see this is so readable code okay circle ci passing this it's returning radius one draw function so this is an object actually from here to here this is behaving like an object so that's why we can say that factory function is used to produce to create the objects and then you simply call this particular factory function pass the value n number of values you can pass like that we can do one more thing we can minimize this particular code 
to radius only. So no need to write radius colon radius. You simply write radius because we know that okay, yeah, this is a parameter. Same radius parameter, you can use it over here like this. So now you can see this is so robust, this is so minimized. We have minimized the code like anything. And simple, a neat and clean code that we have written. Now you run it again. Simple see that okay, hey, I'm getting one, I'm getting c2 dot draw, uh, c2 dot radius, I'm getting five, and c1 dot draw, I'm getting draw is getting printed over here. Right? If you really want to print, let's see, I just remove c2 and c1. Okay, now you run it again. Simple say that okay, hey, see, you can see the output over here. Okay, this is for c1 radius equal to one, and this is for C2 radius equal to two, like that. Simple, right? So this is how guys, we create a factory function. This will behave like a factory, which will produce, what is the meaning of factory? Factory means that you produce some objects. It means this factory will produce all these objects. We just need to pass what kind of factory, what kind of objects you need. We need what kind of circles? We need a radius equal to one, we will pass one, we need, it is equal to five, we pass five like that. This is just like a constructor in Java. Okay, like that, we will create factory function. We have constructor function also. In the next chapter, I'll tell you what you mean by constructor function, right? So I hope these practice guys, JavaScript needs a lot of practice to understand the syntax. Okay, because you're coming from Java background or maybe Python background, but once you write the code, it will be very simple. So please practice these JavaScript. It will really help you if you are trying to learn React.js or AngularJS or uh, you know Node.js or in automation also if you're learning Protector or Codestep.js or any kind of Tyco, Cypress, any kind of tool where you have to design the framework, where you have to write the code, you have to write the generic utilities, you have to create the objects. So this will help you. Don't directly jump into the tools. First, understand the programming, the syntax, the concept, and then learn the tool. Okay, so that's why this particular series I have started just like Java, then we move to Selenium, same thing. First, we will learn about JavaScript, then we will move to, then we will learn different things. So please don't directly jump, first understand JavaScript properly. Okay, so that's all for today. Please subscribe to the channel, guys. Let me know if you have any issues. Thank you so much.